have never really dabbled in this brand until now and that brand is from Raja Parfums yes so we're gonna go through the sampling series and boy do I have some thoughts because I've worn all these on skin tested them thoroughly and hmm we'll see which ones I think are full bottle worthy or not <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes, we're doing a sampling series video because I'm now exploring Raja Parfums or Roja. I've heard about them a lot here in the fragrance community, some more than others, of course, but I will say the inspiration of this video came from what will be my fragrance of the day, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But as always, lipstick of the day today, everyone. I'm rocking an oldie but goodie, and this is from MAC, and this is Riri Woo, which was a take on Ruby Woo. I will link that below of course and as always details on the face and all that will be in the description box below so you don't have to ask questions about it next up as promised fragrance of the day this is the fragrance that has brought me into the world of Roja, and this is elysium parfum this is their newest release that has come out for spring 2024 it's funny it actually kind of matches my nails because it's like iridescent and this whole like fun opal thing that's happening. I've talked about this fragrance in a previous video when I first got it and I wore it on its mating voyage and all that. So I've worn it a few more times and I will spend a little time with this one because this is the inspo for this video. So the new Elysium fragrance, you all, it has key notes of mandarin, peach, peony, climbing, and violet and musk. And there's like some freesia. There's a lot of other things in here. And I gotta admit, wearing this one, it's been, I've worn this several times at this point. One thing about this one, this is definitely a signature scent. The peach note in here is definitely strong. Peach is very peachy, floral. And then there's this kind of perfumey classic DNA through it. And it's also kind of clean at the same time. So this is extremely well blended because if I was to go into the full like note breakdown, there's like 12 different notes in this scent, but all in all, it's all seamlessly woven together. So I do understand about the hype with this line because people say no Raja is like high quality and whatnot. Then when I look into the brand, the thing is a lot of raw materials that I use in their fragrances, which also explains the price point of Raja perfumes when I was doing my research on the brand. And they're out of, Britain of the UK. That's where they're based. After in exploring this scent, and I have been enjoying this one, this one I absolutely would think would be a spring scent, a spring signature scent for sure. And, this and then I removed you all, one of my elves was kind enough to send me a discovery set from the House of Raja Parfums. And this was their summer collection, the summer selection fragrance library. And this is for the women's line. So then I was like, wait a minute. I have a gift set of these, which again, this was kindly sent over from an elf, which I'm happy about. So I could explore this line and I showed this in a previous video. So I'm like, okay, after of course, playing in my fragrance of the day and whatnot, I said, wait a minute, let's really deep dive into this brand. So let's get into it. And the good thing is too, by the way, for somebody that also wants to explore this, this gift set is still available on Twisted Lily. So you can definitely check that out and I'll link it below so you can look at it for yourself. So this set you all has seven different fragrances in it. And a lot of them are popular ones I've heard uh, for sure, I've heard about three of them. So they were on my radar. Again, I just had never dipped my toe into this house, but we're doing it today. So the first one we're gonna talk about, <laughs> outside of, of course, the fragrance of the day. The first one is Elixir. And in this set, we'll pull it out. It is a true discovery book. And all of these are two meal samples. This is how they come. And I also want to state again, I have worn all of these on skin, tested them. So this is not just paper first impressions. This is actually tested on skin first impressions because as you all know, samples are for first impressions. We do not do dedicated reviews based off of samples. Gotta have a full bottle for that. <laughs> That's my thoughts. So anywho, first fragrance we're gonna talk about is Elixir Pore Femme. So I've heard a lot about this one. She's considered one of the regular rotation ones. So with Elixir, we have top notes of bergamot, we have heart notes of Lily of the Valley, Geranium, Rose de Mai. We got Jasmine, Degrassi, Ylang Ylang, Heliotrope, Violet, Raspberry, and Peach. Base notes are Violet Leaves. We have Cinnamon, Cedarwood, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Oris, and then we have Ambrit and Musk. Now they're mainly highlighting the main notes are Rose de Mai, Raspberry, and Peach, and Vanilla out of all of that. So Rose de Mai, Raspberry, Peach, and Vanilla. This is per Rosia officially. Now for me, what I got out of this scent when I wore it, Interesting enough, I get the raspberry and peach more than anything. That is what I get. So even with the laundry list of notes, I get raspberry and peach. That is essentially what I get. However, though, this is one I'm glad I tested on skin because on paper, I'm like, oh, this is pretty, you know, it's a fruity scent. This is pretty, right? But on skin, 
Something in here went overripe on me for sure. That was the thing about Elixir. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm confused because I love a peach note and I definitely have been loving a raspberry note, which I've been talking about. Y'all, I think I think the peach went overripe in this one and it turned a little sour to me. And it was kind of like, someone's just off with Elixir to me. I'm not sure, but for that reason, because the fruits turned overripe again, it might be the raspberry, it might be the peach. This one turned out to be a no. So this is why, again, we test fragrances on skin. I don't care how hyped it is. I don't care what brand, because uh, no. Elixir had me had me questioning myself. Was I a little rotten that day? Was I a little tart? Was I a little sour? So this was one I had to go ahead and wash off. So that again is the Elixir the Essence fragrance. And this is the Eau de Parfum. And that again is the Elixir Essence fragrance. And this is an EDP. But yeah, that's a no. <laughs> now this is what I've heard a lot about. And this is the 51, Rosia number 51 Essence de Parfum. The girls love this one. For what I have seen, this one has a cult following. So I'm like, okay, she must really be good. So let's see. So with number 51, we have top notes of bergamot, lemon, and mandarin. We have heart notes of lily of the valley, rose de mai, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine de grassi, tuberose, lily, yang lang, and raspberry. Base notes, we have our violet leaves, anise seed, cinnamon, clove, patchouli, cashmere wood, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, and orris. Y'all use so many notes in here. However, highlighted notes that they are emphasizing are rose de mai, jasmine de grassi, lily, and raspberry, and vanilla. Okay. I gotta say, hmm, the notes, notes seem to be kind of like similar already. Hmm, we'll see if this keeps going as we keep deep diving into this scene. So let's talk about 51. Let me tell y'all something. I completely understand the hype of 51. This one was a yes. This one was an absolute yes. In fact, the longer I wore it, the more I enjoyed this one. This one was absolutely worth the hype to me. And this one, interesting enough, even though raspberry was in the previous scent, it didn't do hit for me in this one. The raspberry note in here works. It is done to perfection to me. It's bright, it's sparkling. It's like yes to me. This is one how, you know, you really like something when you spray it on you, you go about your day, doing errands, typing emails, finishing deadlines, whatever it is you gotta do. I kept sniffing this one. I kept coming back to it on the day I was testing this when I was like, okay, I really like this one because I'm busy and it's still coming back top of mind to me. So 51 is a yes. This is signature scent worthy to me. I'm gonna need a bottle of 51. Like, yes, I, yes, this is amazing. Mm. And this is definitely spring and summer to me because again, it's the fruits in here. It's fresh, it's bright. Yeah, 51, I see why she's a girl, I do. 51, mm -hmm. I'm impressed, I am impressed. So that again is the 51 Essence de Parfum again from Roja Parfums. Next up we have Enigma. Now I've heard about Enigma too, but not as in depth. Again, I had no idea what to expect because I had never deep dive into this line, but I've heard the name. So let's talk about Enigma, you all. So with Enigma, we have top notes of bergamot, mandarin, and lemon. <laughs> we have heart notes of geranium, rose de mai, neroli, jasmine de grassi, ylang ylang, heliotrope, and peach. Base notes of patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, orris, ambergris, and mud. Okay, Rose de Mai is like in everything I'm noticing and Peach. Them two are in everything. So I'm really fascinated by that. <laughs> so let's talk about Enigma, y'all. Enigma is the citrus in here for me. It has a bright, clean opening for me. This is summer because it's not like heavy, but it's bright and it's light enough, but I still would smell it. This one was giving me summer vibes when I was wearing Enigma. I like this. Now, interesting enough, even though they have all these notes in here, I cannot make out a single, like just individual note. I can't get on here and just be like, oh, it's the lemon for me. Or how in a previous scent, I was like, oh, it's the raspberry note for me. I can't say that about this one. It just smells very bright and sunny. It's just more of a vibe. Because again, everything in here is well blended. So, I mean, hey, that's a testament to good perfumery. I gotta give them that. But yeah, hmm. This is a summer scent. That's all I got. <laughs> This was a yes. I did write down for this one when I was making my notes for it. Enigma is a yes because it's like an easy reach. Nobody's mad at this one. You're not too lemony. You're not too fruity. 
easy reach for summer. That's what I got from Enigma. So this one I like, she's a yes. Okay, now this next one is also one I've heard hyped up a lot. Like I put this one up there with 51 and Elixir for the hype. And this is Reckless. This is the infamous Reckless. So Reckless has notes of bergamot, mandarin, and orange, heart notes of geranium, rose de mar, neroli, jasmine degrassi. We have base notes of coriander, pink pepper, cinnamon, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, styrax, and musk. And this one from what I've seen and just like the pictures and how they have it, this one's supposed to be more playful. And let me see what I got from this one. This is a cotton candy scent. That's what I got from this one. So absolutely, this is a more playful scent. They wrote this one up correctly with the pictures and the imagery, according to Roja. Yes, this is a playful summertime scent to me is what this is. This is marshmallows, this is cotton candy. Summery sweet, that is what this is. In my opinion, this is absolutely a cousin to Oriana by Parfums de Marley. This is also a cousin to Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. However, this version is it's a little bit smoother. This is more well blended in my opinion than Love Don't Be Shy. And this is a more better summer version in my opinion. It's, yeah, this is for the grown woman that wants to smell playful, in my opinion. It doesn't lean juvenile. I don't know how they did that, but this one does not lean as juvenile to me. It's really interesting. It's not too thick. There's no harsh edges to this scent. And normally I would be like, ah, oh, it's redundant. Cause again, I already have Love Don't Be Shy in my collection. I already have Oriana, y'all know this. They got dedicated reviews on the channel, but there is a well blendedness about this that is different. There's, again, there's no harsh edges in this playful, sweet scent. I like this. I like this. Now, do I think I need a bottle of it? That is still kind of I'm on the fence about because, again, I have those other fragrances within that scent profile. So, hmm, I might end up with it only because, again, I do like this DNA, but I don't know. We'll see. But if I did not have those other ones, hands down, absolutely no brainer, this would be a full bottle for me. I'm gonna say that. So that again is Roja Reckless. Now we're getting into the territory when I was like really like out of my league and I had not heard of any of these. So this was true discovery here, like all the way through. So the next one we're gonna talk about is Oshina. Now this one is in a like different collection, a different type of bottle. It's giving more elevated from what I see. So with Oshina, we have top notes of lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lime, mandarin. We have rosemary thyme. We have lavender. Heart notes, we have our geranium, jasmine degrassi, ylang ylang, violet, jasmine sandback. We have base notes y'all of galbanum, moss notes, vetiver, cedarwood, juniper berry, sandalwood, vanilla orris. We got y'all okay so much in here. Wow okay. So it's supposed to be a summery scent because it's supposed to be a take on the ocean if that's what it's supposed to give and to me y'all hmm this is citrus. This is giving Mediterranean summer is what this is. I actually did go to the Mediterranean in the summertime. So yeah, this is definitely giving back scent memories to that for sure. In my opinion, even though this is like in the feminine set, honestly, how it smells is actually more unisex to me, which is fascinating. So I know they put it in the women's set, but this one could actually be unisex. Hmm, it's the grapefruit note in here. That's what it is. It's the grapefruit note that makes it lean more unisex to me. So I do like her. Another scent that it kind of reminded me of that I sampled on here recently is from Memo Pears and that is Jeanette because they also have a grapefruit nut in that one. So those scent profiles, that citrusy, very tartness type of scent is definitely that to me. Luxurious Mediterranean summer, that's what this is. So this one I said it was a yes as well. And that again is Oshina. All right, last two. Now this next one, okay, the bottle is definitely giving like <laughs> rich. It's getting rich. The next fragrance is a Midsummer Dream. I had never heard of this one. So we have top notes of aldehydes, lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, and mandarin. Then we have notes, heart notes. Then we have heart notes of claimant, geranium, rose de mai, orange blossom, and magnolia. And then we have base notes of rhubarb, cardamom, elemi, pink pepper, patchouli, oak moss, vetiver, cedarwood, fir balsam, benzoin, vanilla. We have cocoa, amber, carrot seed, and musk. Y'all, okay, I was like, at first, the brightness of the opening, I was like, okay, cool. But then the base, I was like, okay, this is getting real heavy. I don't see how this is a summer scent, but okay, we gonna see. You know, I was, I was willing to test it out, right? Y'all, okay, this was immediate no. This is so masculine smelling to me. I'm like, again, how is this in a feminine collection? I do not understand. No, this is a man to me. 
And even even y'all, y'all even wore this on skin to truly test it because I got to be fair, you know, got to keep the reviews and the first impressions, all of it. You know, we got to keep it all fair and unbiased. I wore it on skin. It smelled like a stringent to me. It's giving cleaning product. So a midsummer dream, it's a no for me. Mm -mm. Nope. And the last fragrance in the collection, this one is Burlington 1819. So this one's like an exclusive one, I understand. So we have top notes of grapefruit, lime, mandarin, bitter orange, and mint. And then we have base notes of ginger, cinnamon. We have cumin, saffron, patchouli, oak moss, rum, tobacco, cedarwood, cashmere wood, benzoin, vanilla, labdanum, ambergris, and musk. So reading this notes, I was like, I'm not sure where this is gonna end up. I'm kind of nervous. I think it's gonna end up being masculine, just uh, yeah, I was nervous, especially after the previous scent, A Midsummer Dream, it was a total no. And y'all, let me tell you something. This is men's cologne, but with citrus is what this is. So this one is another no for me. Burlington 1819 is giving aftershave to me. It's giving aftershave. Mm -hmm. Now, for a man in the summertime, I could definitely smell this, particularly on my husband. And I let him smell it too. He was like, yeah, this smells like some album will so wear. So I was like, okay, great. I'm not crazy, but yeah, Burlington 1819, it's a no for me. I, I was I was like, no, I smell like a man. <laughs> so you all, that wraps up this exploration, first impressions out of the house of Raja Parfums. So all in all, the takeaways are my favorites. Hands down, my number one favorite was number 51. That one is full bottle worthy. So I'm loving 51. I liked Enigma. And then Reckless, I enjoy too. Again, it's just still in that same kind of scent profiles, other scents. Then, then the Ocean one, she's cute too. But all in all, the biggest takeaway is if I had to pick a bottle of only one out of all of these scents, it would be 51. And I also want to mention this too, y'all, is that one thing about this scent, and if you notice, a lot of the same notes kept coming up. So one thing about Raja Parfums, there's definitely a DNA here and I did smell it. And for me, that DNA can be classified as fruity, floral, and soapy. That was like the running theme through these scents, fruity, floral, and soapy. So if you tend to like that type of a mixture, I think this would be a great house for you to at least sample like I did, you know, get you some samples and check it out. But I don't know, it was cute. I wasn't necessarily like, of course there was a few, I was like, absolutely not, but just because they lean more masculine, but but how they are well blended, how the scents mesh well, the notes and whatnot, the seamlessly blend of them. I am impressed with the quality of this house. So I will continue to explore more for it. Cause again, I need 51. <laughs> and of course I'm enjoying my fragrance of the day, which is their latest feminine fragrance, the Elysium scent. I am enjoying her. She cute. So that wraps up my exploration of these scents. Now you know my thoughts. Have you tried this house? I know I'm late. It's okay. <laughs> we all discover fragrances in our own time. But let me know what you think about this video. Let me just think about this house most importantly. And please let me know what else should I check out. Y'all know I'm always sampling new things and trying to test new things. And you know, it's fun to talk about it here on the channel. That's what we do here. So I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.